I think we have a lot of things that encourage the young family to live in Glabert. Number one, we're a very safe community. The kids can walk to school, they can walk to the park, they can walk down here to the theater, they can do anything like that they want and be safe on the streets. Uh, we're very caring, we're very affordable. We've got a lot of entertainment in this community. It's a two dollar theater. We have an indoor swimming pool. We have a Bowen Alley here in town, a brand new physical fitness center. We got uh, Union Grove Lake, is a tremendous camping, fishing, swimming there. And we just built a new daycare preschool center. We have the school, we have the smash stick marbles. Enough stuff to keep your kids and family entertained in town that you don't have to go outside of town, but yet you're close enough to the bigger towns where if you need something, you can go. Our Main Street businesses are tremendous. You can get just about everything you need to survive here in town. We got a tremendous grocery stores open eight to eight, seven days a week. We got plumbing, we have two doctors. Just about anything you need to survive here in town. I believe it's very easy in Gladbrook to meet your neighbors. Everybody has just a real friendly and open attitude. And you like to go out and um, greet your neighbor to um, take them over platter cookies, welcome them to Gladbrook, answer their questions about the churching or organizations or where the swimming pool is or just chit-chatting and then you also you get this camaraderie where you can help each other out and um, look after each other and I think that's very important and, I, and, and to me to raise a, a child here that was very important. Horn Carnival is a four-day event that starts out on a Thursday the end of June and we start with the kiddies parade and then we have a carnival come into town um, then we have a grand parade on Friday and kids events on Saturday and a softball tournament and it's just a fun event where a lot of people come back for their class reunions or just come back to see family and you get to see those people that have moved away from Glabrick but still love to come back and enjoy Glabrick as well. Gladbrook is a solid investment for your housing. It really is. There hasn't been a big swing historically in, in housing prices and with the uh, people the, taking care of, of their property, actual neighbors are buying houses and, and doing improvements to that house to either get it back on the market or to remove it and open up a lot. There's things going on in town that protect your investment. Gladbrook residents are very proud group uh, citizens. All of our homes in town look extremely well. They're well maintained, they got good paint on them, they got beautiful front yards, there's a lot of flowers, a lot of trees being planted. We are a Trees Forever city. Just a lot of local improvements to keep our community looking great and attractive. We have a very active senior citizen building program. Uh, we went in and uh, built both condos and townhouses. This freed up a lot of starter homes. Excellent homes is very well maintained by our senior citizens that are available for the young families to come into the community or, or new families to come into our community. Uh, our abatement program has been real successful. Our taxes are fairly reasonable here in, in a small community. This all really encourages the upkeep and the development of our housing community. I am proud about living in Gladbrook because I really like the sense of community. I like that village feeling. I like knowing that other people are helping watch out for my children um, and helping them be successful. I like that the staff at our school pays particular attention to my kids and every child and knows what's going on in their lives. And is doing all that they can to help them be successful. I think the school district is very concerned and wants to be involved in every child's education. They've put lots of money into both the daycare facilities in Gladbrook and Rhinebeck and they want to see those grow because they know that'll help the school grow. I think they worry about the education. They're always looking for new and better ways to do things and to educate our children and um, more classes for them to take and what can they do to get those college courses that are available out there. So I think they do anything they can to make sure that the kids are getting the best education they can. To me, the city of Gladbrook is worth all the effort and work you put into volunteering or to help it progress. Um, it's a wonderful place to raise kids. It's, um, we have wonderful senior citizens here. We just have people that like to work together and just help to keep Gladbrook um, moving ahead. And to me, that's a wonderful feeling to be able to help your senior citizens and your veterans and your kids and in this community that enjoys families. We just enjoy helping each other and family activities and progressing and uh, 
it's just a wonderful place to raise a family. Cleberick is a kind, caring, devoted town full of community members that are willing to do whatever they can to make sure this town strives and grows and is here for future generations.